So you guys that have followed me for a while now know I like nothing more than making complete guides and after having a look online I haven't seen any videos on complete weapon leveling guides for Lords of the Fallen. So that's what I bring you today, just about everything you need to know about leveling up your weapons in regards to runes, in regards to rune tablet locations, in regards to Derelium chunks. I mean just about everything you need to know to take advantage of this awesome system in Lords of the Fallen. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So today guys, we will go over how to level your weapons up, how to apply runes, how to get rune tablets, their locations, maxing out your weapons with the Raelium chunks, the locations of these available for each playthrough, and just about everything else you need to know in regards to weapons and leveling. Also guys, everything will be timestamped down below just in case there is something you are looking for info on. So let's start with the basics, leveling your weapons. Well, this is done via an NPC called Jalinda. Now, at first, she isn't available for you to use. You actually have to rescue her from her locked cell. So to do this, guys, you have to be at a stage in the game where you have access to the Vestige of Blind Agatha. This is the battle room area. This is a vestige that opens for you not long after you beat the second boss of the Scourge Sister Delph. So from this vestige of blind Agatha, you firstly have to unlock the lift to travel down. If this lift is already unlocked for you, just travel down. If not, follow the path I take on screen now to unlock this lift. So once the lift is unlocked, take it down. If you come to the right down here, you'll more or less end up on top of Jolinda's cell.
Now to get her out, you have to take out the big dude guarding it. Now once you do, he drops the cell key. You then guys simply give it to her and speak to her. From this point, if you travel back to Skyrest, she will now be available for you to use to upgrade your weapons. So to upgrade your weapons guys, it takes Vyga and Duraliums. Depending on the level of the weapon, weapon type, etc, etc, the Duraliums needed to level them up obviously get bigger and rarer. So there are small Duralium fragments, regular Duralium nuggets and large Duralium shards. And then guys, there's the ultimate, the Duralium chunks. Now what I will say is, Jalinda actually sells Duralium after you do a certain set of objectives, which I will run you guys through. But for the most part, early on, you will come across more than enough of the small Duralium fragments and the regular Duralium nuggets for you to upgrade your weapons somewhat. The large Duralium shards are pretty rare, but I have posted a great farm for them, which I will link down below. But again, what I will show you today will unlock them for you to purchase from Jalinda which is just way, way easier in my opinion. Now the Duralium chunks, unfortunately, there's only four per playthrough that you can run and just pick up that are right there in the open world. And these are used for that final upgrade of your weapon. So theoretically, there's what, 150 plus weapons in the game, but you can only upgrade and max out four through a single playthrough via these chunks that you can just go and pick up. Now what I will show you the location of the four you can grab, I'll show you that later on in the video, but again guys, if that's what you're looking for, check out the timestamps down below. Now another part of weapon upgrades in this game are runes. These can be slotted into your weapons to give them some major buffs. Runes and how you get them and apply them also work with that weapon level. But again guys, it isn't that simple. By leveling up your weapon, you don't just unlock runes and the ability to slot them. You actually have to find rune tablets out in the open world and bring them back to Jalinda before you start seeing runes drop from enemies. And it ain't until this point you're able to slot them into your weapons. Now there are three tablets for you to collect out there to bring back to Jalinda. Not only does it unlock your ability to slot runes into your weapons, with each rune tablet you bring back to her, with there being three in total, you unlock the Raliums in her store, which allows you to purchase them. So in short, the first rune tablet unlocks one rune slot in your weapons, and she will then start selling small Duralium fragments. The second rune tablet unlocks a total of two rune slots and she will now start selling regular Duralium nuggets. And the third and final rune tablet unlocks a total of three rune slots in your weapon and she will now start selling large Duralium shards. Keep in mind, runes can only be applied to weapons that pass a certain level. Maxed out weapons and only maxed out weapons can hold three rune slots. Boss weapons obtained through those remembrances max out at a level 5, 5 being that level where you can apply 3 runes to them, but only once you have given Jolinda the 3 rune tablets. So yeah, boss remembrance weapons max out at a level 5, this is when you can apply 3 runes to them, 4 being a level you can apply 2 runes. Now non-boss weapons are level up to a level 10, when you can then apply 3 runes to them. Now the runes themselves which you slot into weapons drop from certain places and enemies upon you handing in those rune tablets. So once you've handed in a rune tablet that's when you'll start seeing runes drop from certain enemies and certain places. So it's probably best now to show you where these rune tablets are found. So the first tablet is called the Cracked Rune Tablet. This is found within the Fitzroy Gorge area, but the nearest vestige is a trek away from it. This is the Suju Hamlet Vestige of the Pale Butcher. So follow this path I take from here guys on screen now and do what you gotta do.
The second tablet is called the Chipped Rune Tablet. This one is found within the Upper Kalruth Mining District, Vestige of Dawn area. So go here guys and do as I do and get this. The third tablet is called the Rune Tablet. This one can be found from the Hollowed Brothers Leprosarium Vestige of Brother Jeremiah Vestige Point. So from this path guys I take, go here on the screen now.
Now with this third and final rune tablet, you actually have a choice who you give this to, either Jolinda or Sparky. There are benefits to both and they are. If you give this rune tablet to Jolinda, you will get the Crafter's Essence rune. This reduces weapon weight and stat cost to zero. If you give the rune tablet to Sparky, you will be able to upgrade weapons and socket runes at vestige points. And you'll also unlock a trophy and achievement called Travels Resumed. But keep in mind, Jolinda and her items for purchase will cost you double the standard Viga price if you do give it to Sparky. But the choice is yours. But either or guys, at this point, whoever you give it to, you will be able to apply runes to your weapons. And three runes per maxed level weapon. But to max a weapons level, you need those Duralium Chunks. These are the item needed to max that level out, applying that last level to them. It costs one Duralium Chunk per weapon, but as I said, there's only four you can get per playthrough that you can just go and pick up. So let's check out the locations of them. But keep in mind, these are towards the end of the game, so progression and bosses will need to be taken care of in most cases to grab these. So the first one, you want to come to the vestige of the Lost Rescue, I believe that's pronounced, within the Revelations Depths area and follow this path I take on screen now and do what you gotta do. So to get the second Aurelium Chunk, come to the Hallowed Brothers of the Leprosarium at the vestige of the brother Jeremiah and follow the path I take. This one is quite a trek and you will first have to grab the key to progress onto where a minibus is which you will have to take out to grab this Aurelium Chunk.
So the third duellium chunk is located from the same beacon you cleanse after beating the Hollow Crow boss. So for this one, come to the Crow's Nest Vestige of Alosh and follow this path I take. So the fourth one is located within Bramus Castle. So via the vestige of Bloody Pilgrim, this one is quite a trek too. And before you can access it, you firstly have to activate a lever, which spins a set of staircases around so you can go on the right path. Now the lever is guarded by a mage who you first have to take out. Uh, when you do, it destroys red crystals that are basically covering this lever. So pull the lever once you've taken her out, run back to that staircase and halfway up, we have to grab the royal key to progress past a room that will be blocked without it. So do as I do on screen now guys and grab that royal key. Once you have, progress again back up the stairs and then follow this path I take. But be careful, there are a lot of hard hitting enemies along the way but for the most part you can just run past them. So there we have it guys, those are the four duralium chunks you can just grab. And from here, you have the option to max out four weapons. And there we have it, a complete guide on weapon leveling and what you need to know. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more Lords of the Fallen, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.